of like a very cute little picture of a wolf in there. So here we go. Welcome to my channel. Allow me to introduce you to my book. Oh, I have to push it. Might at first appear like many books you've come across. It is far from ordinary. You may therefore have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you, without you, there is. Okay. Chapter one. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. Oh. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a re- I was about to say, I better go into the book. Oh my god! Hey, Dad. How are things going? Today's the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. I w oh, I was six years old when you died. It's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than you were here. Feels like that should mean something. Mom always said this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Damn, son. Hey, Luca. I knew we'd find you here. Rollo was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. Well, after I banged on your door till your gran answered, and after I checked the pond, I climbed up to the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. Rollo finally noticed the tears welling in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave. Oh, yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I don't know if you were going to keep doing that now your mom's gone too. She's not gone. She's just... Missing? Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. She's going to come back, Rolo. Promise. Of course she is. Hey Dad, see you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. Bam! Tiny, tiny, tiny little cutie. A tickle? It's a charmed life, you know. I found a charm, did you know? I'm pushing the button to turn to push. Nothing is happening. I'm pushing it. Oh, that button. Okay, I was doing the directional buttons. Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Okay. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. What reason I was looking for you? I was wondering if you'd ever get to there. I found the perfect way to start our summer. How's that? Rollo looked to the side suspiciously. Not here. They might be watching. They who? Shh, not so loud. You need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. Alright, I just have to tell Gran and then we can head out. What are you going to tell her? I don't know, I think of something. It's all the same to you. I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your grand still kind of wigs me out. I don't do well with new people. She moved in like half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself, I won't be long. Okay, I understand. Turn around. Move. Move, move, move. Ugh. Yes. I must push the same button again. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Oh, Remember yeah, that yeah. charm you found in the dandelion? Yes. There are more of those special charms that they've been known to reveal themselves to those who are with some of them can be found in this very okay. house. 
Well, oh. since Gran had moved in, that and were covered in flower. Okay. He's like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna show you this suggestion table. Stethos, Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything. Not for years, though. Okay. Right. So we got that one for for doing the pondering. Is that what that's supposed to be? I like the way he slipped off the little chair. Not on about the book, no. Grand had already lit the fire. <laughs> She Sorry. kept a warm house, <coughs> as if by grandmotherly obligation. Of course. It is the thing that grandmothers do. I don't know whether that's the kitchen or what. Yes, it is. An array of prepared meals crowded the refrigerator, each labeled with the day of the week. A pair of dull scissors, a broken... Okay, I got junk. Okay. Nothing in that corner. No. The only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in. Okay. I don't know. I mean, obviously, Gran's gonna be upstairs or something. Nope. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Oh, Jesus. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Okay. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief. Where's Gran lived then? Sleep. That's the parents' room. Oh, there's a, there's a corridor. Oh, I'm gone. Am I sharing a room with Grant? Was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Hell yeah. As every child should. Or this is a wasted life, my dear. Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Ah. Oh. Grand's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Oh. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. So the folks died. She moved in. Didn't want to take their room. So you might want to look at it at some point. You know, so she decided we'll bunk in together. We'll do this together, my... Oh, I'm gone. Just some dusty knickknacks. Okay. Well, there might be one there. She thought we'll Luke do this. That if he left oh, I can't tell Gran. Yeah, 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 yeah. She must be out back in the garden. I was like, maybe she's somewhere else. No. Oh, my. This... I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting... You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Okay. Excuse me. I... T you are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Oh, Step God. forth, dear... Gotta speak to Gran. A beginner's guide to guard... Gran. Hey, Gran, I'm gonna go hang out with Rollo for the day. See you later. <sighs> Hold up now. <laughs> Where are you and Rollo headed exactly? I know we're special. The less Grand knew, the better for everyone involved. Mm. Oh. Chill. We were just gonna go chill for the day. Maybe Ponda would have worked with her. The best lies are built on truth. Boys are in always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. <laughs> Make sure you're done chilling in time for supper. Easy. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. Okay. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to... I mean, I've had said hide. Then she'd have been like, what? Ponder, the she'd have been like, oh, you're going for some existential thinking. You can see the turning point, which has been revealed. Okay. At any time, you can use the chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Luckily huh. for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. Yeah, shouldn't do it's not. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with free rights. I really want to. We were just gonna go ponder for the day. 
I get it, it's just to see, like, there's other options. Oh, really? What are you boys gonna ponder in such a lovely day, exactly? This was Lucas' chance to sell. Big stuff. Small stuff. Medium? Mostly medium pondering? Nailed it. Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with the preponderance of pondering. Huh? I'll oh, forget it. Off with you now. Okay, Granny. Good and tag. Oh, and Luca. You and Rolo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. Literally says get into trouble with Troll up. Well, me and my cute little friend are gonna go smush our tush. Ooh, ooh. Come on, come on! <laughs> Can get Rollo? Place looks cute as fuck. Ooh. You know the drill. Ooh. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. We're supposed to walk backwards, are we? Not the point. Chapter two. Welcome to Beacon Pine. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer over the next thirty until the foul. Oh, sorry, I thought it would keep reading. And his sudden death. In the six years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. So I pressed it before before I finished speaking, and it, it finished the speech before it went into the next one, which is weird. You do. Hey Jetson, is the line playing any tunes today? No bites this morning, I'm afraid. Come to think of it, I can't remember the last time a real one in. This is where I come to think. Yeah, that's what my dad used to do here. If you ever want his chair back, I've taken to standing recently. Keeps me falling asleep at the reel. If you don't mind, I think it should stay. Great chair makes for a great list. Empty chair makes for a great list. Whenever Luca saw his dad's chair by the pond, it reminded him of the days they'd pack up a couple of sandwiches and fish until sundown. Oh, yeah, yeah and fish does. Are we going to do that now? Go pick out your bait from the tackle box, Bookaroo. Look, I'm tired. Luca opened the tackle box and picked the perfect bait. Huh. Well, tickle's not really bait, is it? Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. What fish could resist a nice shoestring? A smart one? I mean, he's he's like less than six, isn't he, so... Oh, I'm supposed to press pay. A. Okay. I thought I was supposed to use the trigger. It's okay. I've got to go again. Okay. I mean, it seems to work. Tied a shoe. What fish could resist? Oh, do you know? I think I'm just. I was like, I think I'm just supposed to keep hold of A, but no. So obviously I've got to do it until it um tied a shoe. What fish could resist? It's red. There we go. Hopefully I don't have to fish again. Uh, sometimes things drift away. That's not fair. No, it's not. Well, wherever it is, I hope the other boots at least got a sock to keep it company. Can we be done, Daddy? Can we be done with the fishing? Oh. Luca Try gently baited a feather on Good for oh. skimming the surface. Hmm, feather might work. I'm not sure. I, I've been fishing as a child, but many years ago. I think I just have to let go and then pull it in. Ooh, a rubber ducky. Well, I'll be switched. It's your old rubber ducky. You were just a little drooling ball of fur when you lost that. 
cry for days. Told you to turn up. Hee hee hee. Yeah, it's been years like. Appreciate it, Daddy. I assume I have to get like three things or something. Luca gently baited a good for skimming. Okay, you'd add both of them with ticks, so maybe I don't. Oh, it was the same rubber ducky. Okay. That was weird. Oh. Wants us to go somewhere. Maybe get some sandwiches. I don't know. What the fuck is this? Okay, it was just that memory thing. I, I thought I was stuck then. The boys had a good thing going. As long as they kept old Jeff happy, they had an endless source of precious materials. Noise. Okay, weird. It's this top secret plan to start our summer. Ooh. So you know the abandoned warehouse by my place? The old Valentine building? Ooh. Well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? Kinda. Place has been empty Ooh. since... Since the foul harvest. Yeah. Who would even want to poke around that place? We would, Rollo. We would. Wait, wait, wait. It's just a busted old warehouse. I just meant we could do some research at the library. You want to actually go to the warehouse? Don't know why I'm from Birmingham now. What do you expect to find? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere. It seems like everyone really pretends that she's gone for good. You don't have to come, Rolo. if you don't want to. Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burnt down a chicken coop? You jumped in and said it was your fault before my pa throttled me? This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I got you back. Thanks, Rollo. That's very sweet. Now that I think about it, poking around a crappy fertiliser warehouse is exactly how I want to spend the first day of summer. Woohoo! Weird. On Ooh. certain nights, when the clouds were just right, the boys could tune Ooh. into strange patterns. Of... Rollo thinks it's aliens. He <laughs> always thinks it's. It's pretty cool. Anything? Anything else? Lucas' winter coat decommissioned for this. With okay. the cold holding out longer than usual, he reconsidered its use. Magic. Oh. That was weird. I thought you're not supposed to put on the hat. Well, you don't need to do that, my baby. I just thought you know, because I got the chill one earlier, and I thought maybe there'd be another one. After Luca's father had passed, Rolo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rolo's way of keeping him occupied. That makes sense. Sweet. Okay. Where did he go? Shit, where'd he go? Can I go this way? I guess not. Oh fuck, where'd he go? That was weird. Just seems to leave the same way. I don't know where he went. Where did he go? No, that's a no. It's like, mm. no. Will it tell me anywhere? No. Where did he go? No. Don't know where he went. No idea. I don't get it. Where did he run off to? Back to town? Yeah, just give me that. Give me that. No. Hi, Luca you. looked up at the satellite dish. Rollo nearly killed himself putting that up into the tree. Oh. While it didn't turn the radio into an interstellar communicator, as he'd hoped, it did at least boost the signal enough to overhear truckers one town over. Okay. That's something. It's a big thing for a kid. I must have gone back to town. Obviously. Hey, Mr. Kerr. Hey there, pal. William Kerr was the CEO of Perennial. He had become a fixture around town over the past few years. After the failing of Valentine Fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Mm. Excited for the big festival? Oh, um, sure. Come on now, when I was your age. There's nothing more exciting than a town festival. The food, the music, the dancing. 
Sounds pretty all right. Gosh dang right it is. Looking forward to letting off some steam myself. Be sure to invite all your little friends. I couldn't keep Rolo away if I tried. Excellent. Sorry, Luca, I've got to get back to the proverbial grindstone. Oh, harvest awaits and all that. The left side's a little low. Where the fuck did my friend go? No. I want to, like, stop and talk to everyone, because I'll be here all fucking day. Where did he go? Hey, Dawn. Sorry to wake you. No problem. Comes with the job. Dawn had dreams of becoming a big-time reporter. At night, she searched for the story that could be her big break. By day, she hawked papers at the newsstand. What's that? Rolo said he saw something strange going on at the warehouse. There we go. You might say I've heard some things. Working on a story about it right now. So what's going on? Can't quite say yet. Still need to follow up on a few leads. Keep me in the loop, okay? Sure thing. Everyone's preparing for the festival. Should be back to normal tomorrow. Catch you then. Catch you then. I'm sorry I haven't been able to find out anything about your mum yet. Just grateful that you tried. Still keeping my ears up. Okay. How do I get in the warehouse and where is it? Because I don't think it's any of these buildings. Town halls over there. Coffee shop. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my <laughs> friend. Just the fella that I was looking for. Is that a girl? Okay. Um. Hey, Roxy, what's up? Oh, right. Rendezvous with Roxy. This is an important turning point. Is it? The first time where your charms will change the course of fate. And currently, we only have one suitable charm in oh. our display. Have no fear, we can always return later using the Chronicle once- Well, now I'm just rambling. Where were we? That's why I gotta stop at all the stupid signs and stuff. Oh! See my block that brother today. He skips out before breakfast. Well... I don't really know. Can't say I have. Can't say I won't say. Roxy, would I lie to you? Clearly. Look away so I almost forgot to tell you. Roxy, Roxy might be lurking around here. It's one of her favourite places to stand around and be useless. Hello. We need to make sure she doesn't spot us. Hello. Are you doing that turning thing with your body? You mean someone's behind me, you idiot? Or you? She's harmless and a chump. And she's lice around the corner, isn't she? Yeah, it's time to be scared, boy. Don't mind me, just over there lurking uselessly. Oh, hey, sis. Nice weather we're having, eh? But no, but knows that she snuck out this morning before breakfast. Wasn't hungry. Well, I can tell. I can tell that's a fucking lie. <laughs> ah, your chores were left unchored. <laughs> Roxy, you've gone a level with ya. Sick and tired of digging up carrots. <laughs> we all got to pick up the slack since the foul harvest. <laughs> of course, it is rotten because of the foul harvest. <laughs> and the rest look like they were hit by a shrink go ray. <laughs> all the more reasons to keep on digging. There'll be more to life than puny carrots. Luca and I have places to be, so we don't mind. <laughs> oh, I do mind. I'm not going to catch hell again because of you. So either march yourself home and harvest those carrots, or I haul you home yours. Myself. Rollo froze as Roxy took a step toward him, cracking her knuckles. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. In that the past, work. he found that the best work. way to deal with an enraged He's gonna get dragged home. was to be a little chill. It's my fault, I didn't run around locking everything. It's the first day of summer, the sun's shining, we want to take it easy. No way in hell, no way. Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. It's great and all, but Rollo's problems have a way of becoming my problems. And pa always says, tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. Wow, sounds like a terrible family. 
March, you big <laughs> oaf. Ah, oh, rats. <laughs> Expect a full report about the Valentine place. Right, right, right. So, Fitz, what are you up to this lovely day? Nope. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can... Nope. Miss Hatch could often be found near the fountain. Too absorbed in a book to be distracted. Okay. Danger ahead! Why you? You got any words for me? I'm just open for another. You know, a little a little booklet or something. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay. Um, Piper? Oh, hey, Luca, what's up? You know, it's summer break, right? Of course. It's like the morning? Correct. And you're studying. Like they say, the early bird gets the proper education required for a successful and fulfilling career later in life. Well, you sound like a big dull dud, don't you? Hmm. Hello, ladies. Zarel. Hiya, Luca. Would you please tell this lazy butt to help out in the cafe? Oh. Lumi, Zarel would like you. Luca, let me give you a little gem of advice. If you never do what you don't love, then you'll never work a day in your life. <gasps> wow. Really setting the kid up for success. Well, I would say success myself. We can't go in there. I was expecting another little piece, but I don't know. Obviously, gotta go to the Valentine place. I don't know if it's to the right, down here. History Museum. I assume, yeah, I'll have another one later on so I can just go boop. Yeah. That's the zoo. I just thought, it says no touching, you know what I mean? Play that funky music, white boy. Play that funky music, right? Hmm. Play down and boogie. Play that funky music till you die. Hey, Beth. Hi, Luca. Doing some fact checking for the town history exhibit. Look, kid, I'm just here to put up the lights. But did you know? When the town was founded, there were only seven citizens. And they all worked for a mining company. There was only one dirt road leading to town. And there still is only one dirt road leading to town. Well, one road. That's what I said, one road. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, I got the drums. Unless I tell the girl, go play the drums, you sexy beast. I don't know. Hello, sir. Holden Wilder ran the local paper of record, the Beacon Beacon. Hey, Mr. Wilder. Morning, Luca. What's the day you have in store for you? I was wondering if you had any news about... News? The Beacon Beacon knows the news that needs knowing. Any news about the old Fertilizer Warehouse? Fertilizer Warehouse? Nope. Huh. Rollo thought he saw some lights there last night. Mm, Rollo ought to be careful poking around that part of town. The winds of change are blowing. And change is a dangerous animal, my good dear boy. Change. Hmm. Unsure if that will work for the sissy. Can you? Yeah, that. Last chance diner. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Solomon. Apologies, no time for chit chat. I'm a gorgeous little Doberman and I must be on my way. That's what he looks like. Library shut as well. Oh, look on my boy, hold up a tick. Oh, hey, Mister Nuncreed, I was just on my way to. I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Can't stack the shells fast enough, turns out. Yeah, that's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Uh-huh. Well, don't let this old man slow you down. You 
just remind her she still owes me a dance. A promise Gran regretted the second it was made. <laughs> Will do. She a fine woman, that Juniper. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. Uh, gotta go. I think I... Sweeter than any jam on earth. I think I chose the right voice. <laughs> Stop, you know? The phone booth was brand new. Part of it didn't see much use. Okay. Nothing there. Over the bridge to Grandma's house we go. Hey, Luca. Hey, Joey. How's the bug hunt going? Not great. Bugs have been shy this week. Bugs? Get shy? Oh, sure. Bugs aren't that different from people. Sometimes they just want to be left alone. If you're going into the deep wood, the weep wood, just be careful where you step. No bug crunching. Got it. Into the woods we go today. It's not a shit song. Honestly, genuinely. The path led into a small hollow at the edge Still of the wood. Me, though. Okay, no turning back now. Okay, just run straight. Electrified fence. Is that sign new? The fence thrummed with a gen Okay, so what would Rollo do if he was here? Often asked himself what Rollo would do, so that he could rule out that option. Good, good, good. No, no, don't touch it. Hmm. Ooh. Hello. What is that? As sparks flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. Okay. Oh, press Y. Do, 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 do. I don't know if I... What? Okay. One it's more two. to go. Hmm. Alright, maybe just throw them over there and then throw them from there. Done. The fence's buzzing gave way to silence. Moment of truth. I mean, you'd have still Every docked. Every town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. They were scared of it. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left to be. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Definitely. Okay, so Rollo wasn't exaggerating for once. What's There's going on here? To find out. <sighs> wow, that smells awful. Too bad Rolo's not here. You'd have no problem poking around. I assume we can get him in the next one. The water looked almost dizzy. It flowed slowly into the stagnant. Woods. That's what it is. The Dirty stagnant a water. Sound. It was actively draining some kind of liquid. Mm, probably not even water. All right. Let me see. Ba, ba, ba. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. I love that it's just locked. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear the zipper. The sound of footsteps grew louder. Hello? Okay, you don't know how smart suit. Shit. Okay. The heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. <gasps> Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Ba -ba -ba. Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. No! A story about change. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? Mm -hmm. I what? Probably should have warned you about this. There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy. But don't let that discourage you. We will find the ending that this story deserves. What? I just from here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at okay. a given turning point. Now, let's try something different. Yeah, obviously. Let's go back to that one, don't we? You're gonna go with shit. 
<laughs> in the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy What's was the... to be a little shit. Oh, you said it. I wanted to make sure she's. <laughs> make a break for it. What have you done? Did that little shit just kick me? Oh, she gonna chase. No, you want your little twerps. You gotta come home eventually. Oh, so we delayed him on whatever the fuck he was doing. Sorry about that. We all can get overexcited sometimes. Solomon Valentine, current ward of and future successor to the Valentine fortune. Is Valentine? As he brushed off his pants. Town of complete and utter fools. One wonders if it's worth taking anything seriously here. Either way, I'm really sorry. No matter, how are you doing? Me? Yes, with all that business about your mother and whatnot. Oh, I'm getting by. Still no word from her at all? No. That is truly a shame. Shame. Fabulous. Your grandmother has taken residence to keep house? Yep. How's that going? Misses stay out of each other's way. You make it sound like she's really at home. It's not like that. She just has a lot to do. Hmm. She's still settling in and trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Indeed. Well, count your blessings. Let's have a caretaker who's rarely around, in lieu of one who tries to compensate by smothering you with attention. That doesn't sound too bad. So bad. Trust me when I say... <clears throat> it's best to rely on yourself. Family has a way of creating more problems than they solve. Were you in here before? Ah, shit, ah, shit! Solomon trifled a gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Heiress? Speak of the devil. Do not wander off like that. I am much too busy to be looking all over for you. Apologies, heiress. I was just taking a stroll through town. Strolls of a commoners. You're a valentine now. I want you to be present for the construction of the History Museum. The future of this town relies on its ability to remember our family's great past. Of course. Okay. He's obviously been adopted by that. Look at my boy, hold up a tick. Uh, sorry, Mr. Uncreed. Kind of in a hurry right now. Oh! Okay. <gasps> Boy's got too much of his father in him. Is that a chance of anyone this time? Ooh. What? Fuck, I thought he'd been beaten up. Owie! Little help. I don't know why I keep making him southern. Ooh. Ooh. I am the champion. We were racing? Did that road get longer? Like anything ever changes around here? It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. You really need to pace yourself better next time. Not sure why I'd take advice from second place. Has that sign always been there? Wait, what? Don't you run that too. Let's try a fence. Definitely new. Creepy. How are you gonna get round that? Don't worry, I've got this. Smart. Oh, it says you can figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great, now what? Uh... I did my part and established touching the fence is bad. Sure, you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. I'm a safe distance. Can we do it? I press the Y button. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, you're a genius! Wait, I want you to fire that way. No. No. Like that, yes, so I can... Okay. I think that's in it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Luca, 
Never fail to impress. As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rolo began to bounce excitedly. Check it out. Damn, Rolo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Was there ever any doubt? It definitely needs investigating. I think two ace detectives are on the case. This is bizarre. This is awesome! Oh, that didn't happen before. Rumble. Did you feel that? What? The excitement in the air? You bet your butt I did. Check out this puddle. He's playing in stagnant water. That's not normal. And this hose, yeah, it's toxic fucking waste. Oh man, the door's locked. Try harder. Seems daft. No dice, it won't punch. Oh well. This dumpster's new, right? Bet it's got stuff in it. Again, probably nuclear waste. Can't really see what's in here. Give me a boost. Who did all this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some treasure. You sure that isn't the hazardous waste? Well, at least he's aware. Rolo. Be my honour to throw you in the trash. Come on, lady, look. So, so, what's in there? Well, let's see. A squishy bag of squish. Ah. Got inch of stagnant sludge. Got natural habitat. Wait, hold the phone? Hold two phones? Check these bad boys out. Are those... <gasps> Walkie-talkies. Just like Hank, atomic communicators. Like every child's dream. You know, before you go walking to these. Do these actually work? Ground command to Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic, ground command. You're coming in five by five. How, um... How are your vital readouts, Hank? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Requesting assistance for evac. Help is on the way. The dude's coming. What's that? Someone's coming, give me your hands! I'm trying, my hands are covered in squish! Scoot over, I'm coming in! What if he throws something in the bin? Okay, didn't look. That's fantastic. What do you want? Tell me you saw that. Dude, I don't know what I saw. Let's come back, get down. God, is he dumping a body? Again, still could be nuclear waste. Or green and glowy. And the whole place is green and glowy, you know. Something dodgy going on here. I sat petrified under the weight of the bag. Oh God, tell me that's not what I think it is. Okay. Do you know what separates run-of-the-mill detectives from ace detectives? Ridiculous hat. When the chips are down, detectives dip deeper for clues. Rollo felt around at the large sack which burdened them. Imagine if it's me, mother. He snapped off a tag from just within a small zipper opening in the bag. Some sort of badge or something. What's it say? Rollo held the badge up to a faint shaft of light within the dumpster. Dr. Prescott, Deep Engineering. It's a name tag. Who would throw away a bag full of slimy old name tags? Really? Really? One name tag and a bag full of something else. Okay, okay, okay. I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm, there's no time to pack. <coughs> no, panicking! You're panicking! Rollo, calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hands so hard. You know that's not going to be Rollo, don't you? Dude. I am not holding your hand. What are you messing about? What are the slime covered hands would be in here? Oh! Begin to see the benefits of your run for our lives, bud. Right, we've clearly established I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? 
Flaming chicken coop blue cat. Sure, the coast is clear. Let's I go count to a hundred. Imagine waiting that fucking long as if. You hear me yell, run. You don't hear me yell, run. Run. Actually, the way I call ass. Roll, I'll give you credit. You sure found an eventful way to start our summer. It's what I do. It's what I do, baby. It goes nothing. Lucas sat in the dark, tracking the sound of Rollo's footsteps as he ran. One, two. The guy didn't know three. we were in here. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rollo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he. Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. That's actually counting for the stench made it. Ho Screw it. That's long enough. Yes, it is. Luca carefully lifted the lid. And nothing. No sign of Rollo. No sign of the man in time to haul ass. Luca <laughs> clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Beacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Did Rollo make it home? Chapter 3 Finding a friend. The next morning, it but was I'm quieter thinking. than usual at the breakfast table. Only Rolo's the sound of missing. silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. Uh, I finished jarring a mess of jam last night. A mess of jam. Okay. So they'll need to get delivered into town today. Okay. So what did you and Rolo get up to yesterday? Nothing interesting. Rollo's missing about you. Did Rollo stay over last night? Hello? Calm down. Oh, of course it was the right thing to do. Start gathering, folks. I'll be right there. Yeah, the boy's missing. You sure there isn't anything you want to tell me about yesterday? Anything I want to tell you? Not really. We just sort of ran around a bit. Rand's brow furrowed. She let out a long sigh. Her voice was quiet and even. I mean, your mother's missing. <gasps> I have to go take care of some. She's not even going to tell her. You are to stay in this house for the day. Under no circumstance. Are you to leave, boy? What? If I'm not back by dinner, then Stu is in the icebox. But... But nothing. You were to stay here, understand? Yeah. Say it. I'll stay here till you get back. Good. Yeah, Rollo's missing. Oh, and Luca, you left the ice box open yesterday. I'm not made of money, you know. I didn't open it. I didn't open it. Left the faucet running or the fridge door open. I'm pretty sure I did not open the fridge. I may have left the faucet on though. Because it had pushed by the sink. That was strange. Like, I feel like I'm supposed to sneak out really. But, uh, seems a bit unwise. <sighs> I wonder if you can get the same cards repeatedly or... Not. I like the way he slides off the couch. My dog used to do that. My old dog. My little Taz. Not the dog I have now. Okay, let's Luca go. was desperate to check in with Rollo. Until Gran returned, he was trapped. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm not to go anywhere. An eerie electronic sound echoed from Luca's bedroom. It's a modem. Hello? Is anyone there? Luca's bedroom, Luca's bedroom. Oh, it's the walkie? Force Morse code on the walkie, that's what it is, not a fucking modem. Hello? Rollo, is that you? <coughs> Over? Strange. Luca glanced at the now silent. He wasn't sure what to think. 
I'll be honest, I have to stop my stream right here because I, I just started feeling sick. Um, I need to go. Uh, apologies. Hopefully, I'll continue playing this game. Oh, someone's knocking on the door. Let me go check. Let me just go check the door. I'm starting to feel sick, though. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the door. All right, calm the fuck down. Oh, hey, Roxy. This is about me uh, accidentally kicking you yesterday. Is Rollo here? No. Look at me, Luca. This is serious. Is Rollo here? No, I haven't seen him since yesterday. Rollo didn't come home last night. I knew it. A what? pit formed in Luca's stomach. Just tell her where she is. Playing around in Weepwood. And then it was late and we went home. Weepwood? If he's alive, I'm going to kill that little creep. Is there anything else? Anything in that he said? Luca's mouth felt dry. No, we were just messing around. Okay, I need to let people know to check the woods. You stay out of trouble. Go see if he's hiding in the library or something. Luca well, Granda, tell me not to leave. Luca heart beating in his throat. Hello? Where are you? Okay, I'm gonna have to end it here because I'm starting to not feel well. I haven't slept this evening and it is 7.41 a.m. So, going to go. Guten Tag. Um, if you enjoyed the game, please give me a like, maybe a follow, maybe a subscribe, whatever. Um, hopefully I'll see you again in another video. Bye!